Hey guys, so Bob Mart here. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I set up and carry my horizontal Viking knives. So if you've been to my Etsy web store, you've probably seen that I that I carry kind of uh, these Viking knives. And so with the horizontal uh, sheath system, uh, we have finds from uh, mainly from Sweden, but also from like Ukraine and Russia. So these probably come from the uh, the Rus uh, Vikings. But they have sheaths like this that have got uh, uh, little rings on the side. And then there's also a, uh, we've got one, maybe two uh, depictions in uh, stone of like a little uh, Viking dude with a knife kind of at his uh, waist. So with those two uh, pieces of information, I had to kind of come up with my own system of carry. And this is something that you see other knife makers making uh, reproductions of Viking knives, but uh, based on the evidence that I've seen, you know, we don't have a whole lot to go on, so there's a lot of room for interpretation. So uh, I'm going to show you how I set it up for this style of knife. So if you buy one of my Viking knives, it's going to come with these uh, two of these leather uh, straps with toggles on the end. I, I kind of like to call these uh, Jesses because it, uh, I kind of took inspiration from these from uh, uh, falconry. Uh, but basically, the way that these work is you can just, without having to take your belt off, and this will work on a, uh, a modern day belt as well, you just run these over the belt and then put the toggle through the little slit and then you can uh, you just pull those tight actually I do want to do it this way so you can put these on a modern belt you can put these on a uh, backpack especially the ones that have got all the little uh, molly loops and stuff like that there's a lot of uh, options with these. So the way the uh, sheath works, and I've got this one uh, wet molded, so it's actually got uh, really good uh, retention. I mean, you can hang that upside down and it won't uh, fall out. So hanging it uh, vertically, or hanging it horizontally won't be a problem. But basically you kind of roll that over and shimmy it through the ring. And so this is just a braided, this is braided copper wire that I've uh, silver soldered together so you don't have to worry about the ring coming apart or uh, breaking. And so what I like about this system is this is something that you can uh, you know, get on and off without taking your belt off, which with a uh, uh, modern carry method is a little bit uh, nicer to have. So you can have it off to the, uh, off to the side, wherever you want to do it. And then uh, depending on the length of the jesses will depend on how the uh, the knife rides. Uh, I kind of like it tilted upward just a little bit, uh, just for that extra insurance that it won't be coming out. So it's carried with the blade up, so you can, you can kind of grab it and roll it over and then draw it that way if you want the blade to be down uh, or, or adjust your grip. So you can grab it, roll it up, and then draw it, and then the, uh, the blade will be oriented uh, correctly uh, and you can also roll it over in your hand. Well, this is a knife that's going out to a customer so I just wanted to show you guys uh, how this system works before I get it out and so this is something you can um, you know wear it around and then if you and then if you want to take it off you can just take it off without having to undo the uh, the belt but it's a secure method you can see how it's it's easy to get these off but it's not uh, super easy it's like you know not super quick so it's not something that's gonna come off accidentally you could suspend it you know if it's a smaller knife you could suspend it by uh, by one if you want to um, and then this way you can uh, put this where you want you can leave these on your belt uh, whatever the case may be you know so in the uh, the archaeology we have found uh, she's with these kind of rings with the uh, either copper bronze or uh, silver uh, fittings like this, um, but we don't have the uh, the other portion, the portion that uh, attaches to this on the outside and suspends to the uh, to the belt or you know however they carry it. So uh, some of them they found uh, usually the smaller knives, not the, the longer knives like this, but the smaller knives. Uh, sometimes they have uh, chains like a, a chain suspension uh, system, and so I don't know you know did men and women have different uh, carry methods? Possibly. Um, there's a good YouTube channel, uh, Roland uh, Warshenka. He's uh, uh, German, I believe, and he does uh, Viking reenactment and kind of reconstructive uh, archaeology, experimental archaeology with how uh, the Vikings fought. I don't uh, always agree with his methods, but they are uh, interesting, so pro 
probably some of you guys uh, also subscribe to his channel. The way that he does it with his uh, knives is he has like a, a thin leather cord with like a, uh, a small bone toggle, so with uh, smaller rings that works, but it's kind of like a dainty suspension method. So I wanted my method to be kind of uh, robust and uh, sturdy, something that I could uh, make a little bit easier. Uh, so these leather toggles like this I got from the uh, some uh, Viking shoes. So uh, this is what I do for my Viking axe sheaths. I put this on here instead of uh, a snap. So this is kind of in keeping with the uh, my uh, Blackheart Forge aesthetic. So uh, I like this suspension method. Very useful. But, uh, you know, if you guys are looking on the, uh, the Etsy web store, uh, now you know how these uh, go on and how they work. And so you can, uh, you can undo the belt, but you can also just take these off without uh, undoing the whole belt. And I'm kind of wearing uh, a little bit of a uh, historic garb for this particular video. But uh, this will work on a, uh, on a regular belt as well. So the other type of uh, Viking knife sheath for horizontal carry is going to be this kind with the, uh, the permanent uh, belt loops. So what's interesting about this is this is probably the one that you see uh, done the most. But actually we don't, in the historic finds, you know, we have the sheath with this you know, metal attachment and sometimes the leather is preserved, uh, the wood often is preserved. Um, but there isn't this metal bit right here, this uh, attachment point, nor is there any sort of leather there. So that's why the kind of toggle system is what uh, guys like Roland Wachenka have come up with. But this style, you have to take your belt off. Uh, so some of you may like that for a uh, modern carry, so carrying it with modern pants, you might like that better. Okay, so there you go. So this can be worn on the front or on the uh, the back. The archaeology kind of indicates that these are worn on the front, but we don't have a lot of evidence for it either way. But with these kind of longer knives, wearing on the front seems to be the most uh, comfortable because you can always kind of see it's there. It's uh, easy to access, easier to put away. You know, if it's she's in the back, and that scout carry, it's harder to put away. So I do kind of like this method uh, when you're wearing. This kind of, uh, you know, when you're dressed in a historic uh, fashion, wearing it here is is better. Uh, wearing modern pants, it puts it pretty low. But uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. These are the kind of the two Viking sheath messes that I offer. Uh, this actually, this knife is actually uh, for sale if you want to own this one. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're uh, shopping around for uh, Viking knives, hopefully that uh, kind of gave you some insight on how these are uh, meant to be carried and uh, how useful they can be. So. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.